My name is Clint from GSI Technical Support. Today's video is one in a series focused on setup and operation of your portable dryer. Static Air Moisture Sampler Operation on Vision Dryers. This video applies to all GSI dryers with vision controls. Note, timing for different stages will vary depending on your software version. This service is of moderate difficulty and should be performed by a qualified GSI or FFI dealer. Before you begin, please read the relevant GSI user manuals and follow all safety guidelines, including the usage of personal protective equipment. Follow lockout tagout procedures and never begin work on any equipment before ensuring all the appropriate safety steps are followed. Portable dryers are at the core of your facility, and keeping your dryer operational is critical to having a successful harvest. Today's video detailing the operation of the Static Air Moisture Sampler will explain the operation and benefits of the system. As always, it is recommended that any adjustment be performed by your authorized GSI dealer. Let's get started. A grain dryer has one main purpose, and that is to remove moisture from grain. Moisture is removed as the grain flows through the dryer. Adjusting the speed of the grain flow is one of the ways to change the moisture content of the grain exiting the dryer. The moisture sensor and the data that it shares are key to moisture control. The data is shared with the vision control system, which it uses to determine moisture content of the grain exiting the dryer. The vision control compares the existing moisture against the desired moisture set point entered by the dryer operator. If the dryer's moisture control is in automatic mode, vision will adjust the speed of the grain flow so the exiting moisture content reaches the user set point. To begin, let's take a look at the main components that make up the static air moisture sampler. The main components of the blower sampling system are the blower, sampler housing, and moisture sensor. Moisture sampling functions in three stages. Stage one, collects the sample. Stage two, data collection. Stage three, clean out. After stage three, the cycle restarts and runs continuously anytime the dryer is unloading. Let's look at what happens during each stage. During stage one, the sampler housing is filled with grain. The blower is off and all data shared by the moisture sensor is ignored by the dryer control during this stage. The purpose of stage one is to fill the sampler tube and pack the grain tight around the moisture sensor. Stage two is the data collection stage. The sampler tube is full and grain is packed around the moisture sensor. The grain is not moving because the blower is off. These are the conditions when the moisture sensor is most accurate. During stage two, the grain moisture and temperature data around the moisture sensor are collected by the vision control. The moisture content is displayed on the user interface and the control algorithm uses the data to adjust the metering roll speed of the dryer. And finally, stage three, clean out. This is the only time that the blower runs. When stage three begins, the blower turns on and high pressure air is forced into the sampler housing. All the grain and debris are blown out of the housing to ensure everything is clean when the next sample begins. During stage three, the moisture sensor data is again ignored by the dryer control. Once stage three is complete, stage one restarts. The total time for the three stages is about 225 seconds for software version 2.09 or later, or 90 seconds for software version 2.08 and earlier. This means Vision gets updated moisture information that it uses to adjust the metering roll speed every one and a half to four minutes. By only using data from grain that is not moving and updating the data every one and a half to four minutes, the GSI static air sampler has proven to be the most accurate in the industry. Tips and tricks. Use the site windows on the sampler housing to monitor proper operation. Periodically remove the cap at the top of the sampler housing and inspect for any debris that could be lodged. Clean if necessary. 
Periodically remove the moisture sensor and clean off the sensor blade. Always use patience as you adjust your dryer's exiting moisture content. Any change to the moisture set point will not be reflected at the discharge of the dryer until the entire contents of the dryer is cycled. Typically, this is at least one hour. That's the end of this video on GSI Static Air Moisture Sampler. Hopefully, it contained information that you feel is valuable and helps when operating your dryer. Look for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching.